This is uh, Bishop Winston Watson coming to you live from this beautiful island of Jamaica. And I have somebody that's that hails from cold country here with me today. Right. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit about her in a few minutes. But I, I want to thank you for being a part of Morning Prayer Live. I want to thank you for being a supporter. It's come now to the end, the, the last few hours of 2020. Yes, my God. Yes, so yes. many of us have been, you know, waiting, my Lord. So many of us have been waiting for the challenge to be over. <laughs> but the challenge is not. We still have a few hours of what we have thought is a challenge. But but let me point something out to you. In the challenge, in the middle of the challenge, there were blessings. Amen. My God. Amen. <clears throat> 2020 might have been a challenge to some of us, but right in the middle of it, if we look back and we actually unbiasedly look back, in the middle of it, yeah. like in Exodus, I think it was chapter 33, when Moses was put in the cleft of the rock and God said he put his hand yes, over him. Moses saw him when he was coming towards him. Mm -hmm. Moses saw him when he was departing and moving uh, past that particular situation mm -hmm. and event in time. And so right now, as we pass through, oh my God, Amen. 2020, Amen. we are seeing mm -hmm. God. We are seeing the glory. We yes, are seeing the manifestation. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> so we are heading into 2021 with a glorious experience. But I, I want to introduce to you Gwen Armquist. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. Gwen and I have been friends um, in Jamaican terminology since Wappy Kill Philip. <laughs> long, long, long time. <laughs> Uh, I, I wouldn't go as far back as Jurassic Park because no. we're not, we don't look that old. <laughs> we're, young, we're youngsters, still youngsters. Amen. Um, but we've been friends and uh, especially, I, I'll tell you, friends is one thing, but what God ha has allowed us you know, to really develop over the years is a prayer partner Amen. relationship. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I was thinking yesterday as we were eating, uh, there was one time that we were praying. I was up, I was living in Ligony in Kingston mm -hmm. and we were interceding for um, Southeast Asia Amen. and interceding for, I think it was the Middle East and God began to show us the, uh -huh. the seven apostolic regions of the earth and, mm -hmm. and what he was doing to orchestrate his yes. movements and how he was putting things covering in place and covering mm -hmm. the, the, the various parts of the world. Yes. We have been in prayer conferences in, um, in Minnesota mm -hmm. and in the middle of the prayer conference God opens up the heavens and shows us. Amen. Some amazing things mm -hmm. that have transpired over the years. Let me tell you something. You need to have friends like this. Amen. You know, I have I have a few friends like this. I have, you know, Patricia there in the United Kingdom. I have, you know, um, Faye in, in Missouri. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm just calling a few names, but, you know, I, I, I might get myself in trouble if I miss somebody. <laughs> I have Gail, yes. you know, and, uh, and I have so many individuals that God has placed with us. Yes. I had a prophetic word by another friend of mine, my best friend in Tulsa, Juliet. Juliet was from Trinidad, and Juliet said something before I came to Jamaica, maybe a few nights before I came to Jamaica. I was in a prayer meeting with Juliet and a bunch of our, our youth. Um, mm -hmm. you know, well, I said youth who were in our 30s or 40s. <laughs> but we were in there praying, and she got up, and she, she looked at me, and she prophesied, you will have a number of anointed women with you. All right, praise God. <laughs> it's oh been fulfilled. God. It's been fulfilled. <laughs> You Thank know, you and, and I tell you, uh, I don't know if Juliet even remembers that, but I've never forgotten mm -hmm. <clears throat> those days, those early days of prophetic utterances, yes. those early days of prophetic impartation. Mm -hmm. You see, they may not um, fulfill themselves immediately. Yeah. And sometimes as you're going down the road, you tend to forget what God has said because of the issues and the challenges that right. have come. 
But you've got to remember what he said last time yes. so you can move on to tomorrow. Amen. Yes, you've got to sense. really be strengthened. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to let um, Gwen just, you know, greet you and share with you for a minute or two. And we got to get into a subject today that I think will revolutionize your life. Mm -hmm. The DNA encoding of, of, of Adamic power. Amen. You see, you, you, have, you have been encoded. Like, mm -hmm. God, I, nobody can in, in, uh, erase it. There is nothing that has the ability to erase your DNA's Amen. encoding of mm -hmm. Adamic power. Mm -hmm. But there is something that's there that will not erase it but can misuse it. But you got to learn how to take it, unwrap it, mm -hmm. and let it be applied to your day-to-day -day walk so that the presence, the power, and the might of God uh, mm -hmm. manifests in your life Amen. in 2021. Amen. Miss Gwen, well, by the way, we affectionately call her Miss Gwen. <laughs> That's my name. That is it. So praise God. Thank you, Pastor, for this opportunity to be back on one of my favorite islands in the Caribbean. You know, it's been intrinsically woven into us, as mm -hmm. you were saying, before the foundations of the world. God had a plan for us. You think about that. He had a plan that we would be partnering together. All right. We would be working together, mm -hmm. not only in Jamaica, but we would be praying together. And don't think it a small thing. That's right. Don't ever That's think right. what you're doing is a small thing. <laughs> you have a part and a piece to play in God's bigger plan. Amen. He needs each one of us to step into those things that have been preordained and put into us. Amen. I can hardly wait to hear what pastors <laughs> going to say because it's been good. I've gotten a little taste and I love it. So, oh my. <laughs> amen. You know, um, are you through? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Take it away. Uh, uh, several years ago, well, many, many years ago, I was in uh, um, Living Word amen. Christian Center. Mm -hmm. um, wonderful church and Pastor Mack and Lynn Hammond. Yes. And uh, the, um, Lynn Hammond had a prayer conference, mm -hmm. you know, um, that she was hosting. Yes. And it was amazing mm -hmm. some of the things that transpired. I think um, Billy Brim yes, showed up. Yes, she was. I remember, I remember opening a door and bouncing into Billy Brim. <laughs> <laughs> No. You know, but uh, we we uh, we really had a wonderful time at that prayer mm -hmm. conference. But in that prayer conference, there was a catalytic move of God. Yes, and uh, it inspired bridges um, mm -hmm. that were built at the That's time. That's right. It inspired a number of events. Um, in the natural. Now, remember, when we get into a prayer conference, and this is really not my subject for the no, day. No, it's not. When we get into a prayer conference <laughs> yes. like that, when people come from all walks of life and mm -hmm. all geographic regions right. and assemble themselves together, there is a, an anointing, a conglomeration yes, of anointing. Their supplies. Yeah, the supplies that come together makes a tremendous force yes, available for does. God to begin to move in the heavens and mm -hmm. then move on the earth. Yes. But something happened in that conference that really kind of uh, opened my eyes to things. Because as a little boy, I was um, always praying in the Holy mm -hmm. Ghost. Mm -hmm. You know, and I prayed in the Holy Ghost. I think I grew up praying in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I'm speaking about the gloss of the, the praying in tongues right. side of things. And uh, when I was there, um, Lynn Hammond had requested a video be shown. And it's just coming back to my mind. Um, I, I, I haven't listened. even thought about I this. Haven't, I don't remember she this. Required, she requested that a video be shown of Phil and Fern oh, yes. Alverson. Do you oh, remember that? Oh, yes, I remember and that. And so um, I, I had just visited, with Living Word and, and when I just visited Indonesia, uh, I think a little bit before that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so they, they, Phil and Fern, they were sharing mm -hmm. about their, really, let me use the right terminology, their apostolic yes. intercessory call mm -hmm. over the Southeast Asia region of the world. And, uh, and he started to pray. On this video, by the way, it's online. I think I have it online. If you want a link to right. it, just 
just um, send me a request and I can link you to our uh, channel where it is on our channel. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't open it up now because I opened up one church's video like that and they hit me up on a viol copyright violation on a message. Can you imagine? Well, anyway, and so I will give you a private link to, right. um, to Phil and Fern um, Halverson's uh, uh, videos, but when I started to listen to Phil yes. Halverson and watch Phil Halverson, mm -hmm. I saw myself. Yes, I remember this. <laughs> That's me. That's what I did. I was sitting there and I said, but, but I said, Gwen, that, that, that's how I've been praying. That's exactly. And I never knew that people pray like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Lord just mm -hmm. led us, you know, to pray like that. And I pray, I pray as an apostolic um, yes, intercessor yes, over yes, certain yes. regions of the world. And God move, has moved me over the years into different areas mm -hmm. as the, as I guess he has found necessary, right. we have prayed over um, the what was the USSR, the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, and we have prayed over you know other areas like mm -hmm. Southeast Asia, the Philippines, Cambodia, Thailand, right. you know um, Indonesia, um, and several other areas. Interestingly enough, how I started to pray over Indonesia was a word from Gwen when she said, why don't you come with us to Indonesia? And I'm minding my own business because I said, there is no way that I get on any plane to go that far, that many hours in the air. Because although I didn't mind traveling from Jamaica to America and vice versa, um, I think I'd gone at one point to um, Europe and that was a 10 hour flight. I said, no way <coughs> I'm gonna do that kind of thing again. But anyway, one night I had a dream, um, and I think a combination dream and vision. Yes. And I had, yeah, because I called you up and I asked you, did you know this, this area mm -hmm. of the world? Because mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I had never, I did not know that name. Never didn't know what community it was, what you know, yep. the language it was. I, I knew nothing about it except God gave me this word. And uh, then, not only did he give me a word, but he gave me the name of a man, James. And I said, who on earth is James? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I called her up as my prayer partner, and I said, you know, this came to me last night. Mm -hmm. What is his name? And lo and behold, it was Pastor James um, Tan, mm -hmm. who had several churches in the Indonesia and Singapore area. <clears throat> and what God was saying, was interesting because he was coming under attack, attack mm -hmm. at the time. At that, at they time. had threatened right. his church in mm -hmm. Jakarta. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, this stuff is just coming back to my mind. Yep. They had threatened yep. his church. You know, sometimes when you pray like that, I mean, it's not an immediate recollection, but God brings it back. He yes, bubbles he it up in mm -hmm. you um, to remind you where you have been, to remind you what you have done, so that you know what tomorrow's potential is. And right now, right now, I want to I want to talk to some of you out there. Um, you'll be watching this, or you're watching it right now. And uh, 2000, 2020, and maybe the latter part of 2019, some challenges came to yes. you, and uh, the challenges started to derail you, mm -hmm. started to put you on the sidelines. You, you don't pray like you used to pray. Right. You don't prophesy like you used to prophesy. Mm -hmm. You don't preach maybe like you used to preach. You don't, you, you don't do the things like you used to do them. Mm -hmm. And you're wondering, is God still with me? Oh, Let me tell you something, no, my friend. He, 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 he has used this time and using this time to reconcile you oh, yes. to your original call. Amen? Right. He's pulling you back into position. He's putting you back in place. And he wants you to step into your Amen. destiny. Amen. It's it's about time that you come home. Amen. Amen. Gwen, do, do, do you have a sense of that? I do. It's <laughs> time for some of us, all of us, get in position. Reboot. Mm -hmm. Let him uh -huh. reboot you to uh -huh. your original destiny and plan. Yes. Because it's just been sitting there waiting. Are mm -hmm. you going to pick it up, sir? Mm -hmm. Am I going to pick it up? Are you going to pick it up? Finish Amen. the race well. Finish Amen. strong. Whatever your part is. Amen. I wonder if we're going to get to the top, the topic of today. I don't know. <laughs> it's waiting for us. But I think there's something else the Lord wants to say as we're closing out the year. Um, let, let me mention something about um, the DNA encoding in your in your 
of the Adamic power in you. I, I want to point something out. Uh, the Lord just um, prompted me in my spirit with something that he, he shared with me about 25 years ago. Hmm. And uh, uh, I, think we sp I think we spoke about it since you've been here. Uh, but um, it has to do with Jeremiah chapter 1. Oh yes, we, <laughs> we refer to uh, that. You know, and in Jeremiah chapter 1, the Lord said something to Jeremiah. He says, before you entered your mother's womb, let yes. that is paraphrasing it yes. in our uh, current language. Before you entered your mother's womb, I knew you. Let me, let, let me rephrase that in, in, in the terminology of this session. Before you entered your mother's womb, your DNA was encoded. Amen. Ha <laughs> ha! My God. Your mm -hmm. spiritual DNA was encoded. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> God knew why you were coming into the earth. Yes. Your DNA was imprinted with your destiny. Yes. He yes, knew yes. what your geography would be. He knew what your physical size would be. He knew what your voice pattern would be. Amen. He knew how engaged you would be. He mm -hmm. knew who prophetically needed to be around you. He knew what needed to be released in your life. Yes, and he activity. has accomplished it. And there are things that have been activated in Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember while I was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I was going to a church. Um, I always had a desire. Uh, I don't know if I ever shared it um, with mm -hmm. you, but I always had a desire. I said, you know, I've heard of Smith Wigglesworth and oh. I've read about Smith Wigglesworth and mm -hmm. I've read after mm -hmm. Smith mm -hmm. Wigglesworth and I've watched videos, you know, where people have talked about Smith Wigglesworth. Um, uh, Lester Summerall, for right. example. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm saying, you know, I would love to have less, uh, not less, um, um, Smith Wigglesworth lay hands on me. And I'm there yearning, Smith Wigglesworth. But he's dead. He How is. on earth How am I going to have this happen? Mm -hmm. And so the gentleman that was the minister of this church, he was a pastor. His name, his last name was Bishop. So he was Pastor mm -hmm. Bishop. Oh, Pastor. <laughs> All right. Okay. And so Pastor Bishop starts to talk one night. Mm. And Pastor Bishop starts to tell this story about um, one of the assistants, a very close confidant okay. of um, Smith Wigglesworth, uh -huh. who had been living in Kansas City, Missouri, mm. okay. and how he had gone up to visit with him when he realized oh. he was there, and how this assistant, assistant of Wigglesworth, laid hands on him and prayed over him and mm. did all this impartation to him. Lord. And then the Lord says, now let Pastor Bishop lay hands on you. All right. <coughs> receive it all. And Thank there you. is an inheritance. Amen. Woo! <laughs> let, let me point something out to you, my friends. There is a father's inheritance available to you. And Amen. if you're not in line with your daddy, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about God the Father right now. I'm talking about the earthly man mm -hmm. that God has put you under. The earthly man that God has positioned you to be under. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, You might be a young woman today or you might be an older, more mature woman. But God has put you in a place mm -hmm. where your daddy has imparted some things to you. Yes. you know, uh, and you, you've begun to see mm -hmm. uh, the activation. Amen. Of uh, the DNA. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You have begun to see. You know, we may not have put it in that terminology before. We may not have seen it from that um, perspective before. But God's doing something Amen. in you. And God's moving in the circumstances of your life. He's he heating up some things and creating... A, a, a level of motivation unparalleled in the history of your Christian walk. Mm -hmm. Wow. He is. Mm -hmm. He is. There is such an atmosphere that mm -hmm. is hovering, waiting for you to step into what My he's God. got for you. My God. Did waiting. you hear today? Waiting for you to step in. Amen. <laughs> waiting for you. My Lord, it my Lord. It was intrinsically put in you before the foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have the activation points around mm -hmm. you. And now, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> what God. are you going to do with my it? God, my He's God. He's waiting on us. He's my waiting God. on us. My friends, um, you hear, um, Gwen, by the way, Gwen is prophetically anointed. So, uh, so the things you hear, they are not just coming from her head or from intellect. Mm -hmm. They are actually, and we talk, about, we talk about the gifts of the Spirit. One of the gifts of the Spirit 
Uh, I've not talked about those in, in, in a while, but one mm. of the gifts of the Spirit is prophecy. Amen. It is, I call it the EEC of prophecy. It is for, for exhortation, for edification, right. and for comfort. Exhortation to help you see what you need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, exhortation to help you move into destiny. Um, edification, that is to build you up. Amen. Um, in, in the New Testament, in the book of Jude, it talks about praying in the Holy Ghost so that you may be energized or built up. Well, prophecy builds you up it and does. strengthens you. Mm -hmm. uh, edification, exhortation, and comfort. Comfort to say, you've been worried about where God is. You've been worried about what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do. Where God says, be comforted, for I am here. I will never leave you comfortless. And when he says that, what does he mean? He means the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Ah -ha! Woo! He means yes. the Holy Ghost. Hey. Amen. Amen. He's just Amen. Ready to he is waiting on overwhelm us. Overwhelm you. He is waiting, just as I'm right by your yes. side. Yes. He wants to comfort. He wants mm. to guide. He wants to exhort. Mm. He wants to manifest himself Amen. in and through you. Amen. Amen. You know, she just um, she just said something here that's interesting. She said. He, just like she's right next to me, she's beside me. Mm -hmm. The word, uh, the word that um, John used um, in his writing to talk about the Holy Ghost, he called it the Paraclete. Yes, <laughs> the Paraclete. The para, the one called alongside to mm -hmm. help. My God, <laughs> we need him in that capacity. And we absolutely do. And so we're talking about the Holy Ghost. Oh my God, we're talking about a lot of things today. But, but we're talking really about destiny. Amen. We're talking about what God has, uh, has deposited in you. Before you ever entered this physical world, Yes. you were in his world. He says he is the father of spirits. Mm. And uh, it said in Genesis that he breathed into Adam the breath of of lives, mm -hmm. uh, not life, okay, but the breath of lives. So he breathed into him the breath of lives. And then it makes an interesting statement on the heels of that, and Adam became a living soul. Mm -hmm. My God. Now, what, 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 why, why, why does Genesis, um, uh, I think it's Genesis chapter 1, talk about Adam being a living soul? Mm -hmm. Okay, can there be a dead soul? Whoa, or a disconnected soul. Mm -hmm. You see, we have been living our lives as natural men with disconnected souls. Amen. Our, our soulish man has right. been disconnected from the powerful impartation of the DNA imprint of God that was given to the first Adam. Mm -hmm. And so this has been locked up on the inside. Waiting. Uh, just waiting. waiting. waiting but but waiting. one day, one day the Holy Ghost comes and the Holy Ghost touches our hearts mm -hmm. and, and, and he pulls us into fellowship, into relationship. And once we say yes, the door cracks open mm -hmm. to the awakening yes. of what has been in there from the first Adam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. And so then we realize that there's something truly available to, to us. There's something available to us that we really need to then come into, into play in, in, you know, in the things that God would have us do. Uh, I lost my place on my screen here, so I'm trying to get back to where I ought to be, but maybe I ought not talk about that right now. Um, you see, my friend, what, what's going on is that the power of God, you remember, we are, we, we are, we are as Christians, we come, become what? Living souls. living souls. So there's a restoration to be a living soul. What does that mean? It means that the soul, the emotions, the thought processes, the, the dynamic side of you that makes the decisions to go forward, step back, turn right, turn left, that dynamic portion has begun to be influenced by the Spirit. Woo! Amen. Ah, Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. No longer are we bound by the flesh mm -hmm. and the fleshly things, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, but, but 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 hang on now. Remember, Paul said it in Romans chapter seven that the things that I want to do, I don't do because my flesh is trying to lead right. me. Right. That was historically how we were. But what has transpired is that when we come to know God, 
Romans chapter 8. Right. It says, for there is now therefore no, no condemnation, condemnation. No to condemnation. them which are in what? Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's who right. Who are now what? Born after the Spirit. Woo! And that's where <laughs> Influenced we're by the Spirit. And, uh, and you this, this afternoon, there is a spiritual, I don't know where you are mm -hmm. in the physical world, but right now, I release. Amen. <laughs> Released in the name of Jesus. I release a divine impartation. Mm. Oh my God, yes. I can feel my hands tingling. Uh, my, my fingertips mm. are tingling. There is like fire on my fingertips Thank right you, now. Father. There is a release of a prophetic anointing. Yes, yes, there is yes, a release yes. of a Send healing anointing. The there is a release Jesus. and an activation yes. of things locked up and imprinted in you. My mm -hmm. entire hand, I can feel my palms pulsating yes. ah, with the power of God. Wherever you are, there is a move of God right now over you, in you, and through you. The apostolic call upon us as a ministry is causing an activation right yes. now. Activation. In your midst, in my the God, midst. there, there is. <laughs> some of you, well, my God, some of you are receiving an Elijah mantle right now. Yes, I, 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 I can feel it, my God. I, I feel that Elijah mantle. You have stopped. You have stopped like Elisha. And you have looked around and you've seen uh, the mantle fall and you have stopped and you have picked it up and you have called out, yes. where is the, the God of Elijah? Where and so God, the God of Elijah has put a mantle yes. Up, yes. upon you yes. today. My God. Yes. Now walk in it. Walk in it. Woo! My walk God, in my it. God. 2021 is not going to be like any mm -hmm. other mm -hmm. year for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, we were talking, uh, yes. we were talking, I think it was yesterday, and grandmother was telling me about a young man that ministered, and you know, I, I, I'm very unusual when I minister in many ways <laughs> you know there are some things that are kind of okay but <laughs> sometimes i can get a little unusual but let me point something out about something out about god god is not crazy he's not schizophrenic no he's not um he uses you he does with your personality mm -hmm. he uses you with the person that you are yes. he uses you in the geography you don't have to go to america for god to use mm -mm. you um, yes, many of us, or some of us, he will call us to Africa. Mm -hmm. Some of us, he will call us to Indonesia. He will call us to China. Yes, yes, yes. My friends, my friends, I, I just realized something. Somebody, you have a call in your spirit to China. Mm -hmm. My God. And you're wondering, how can a black man like you go live in China? Well, let me tell you something. Um, it makes no difference when God has anointed you uh, that place the people are ready there are people right now <clears throat> and I can see them in the spirit mm -hmm. there are people right now on their knees praying yes and calling, and calling for you to come. come please obey the call please stop looking at the negative circumstances you must obey the call you must respond to the call the wooing of his spirit. They're calling you to come. Mm -hmm. For the deliverance is tied up in your obedience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's connected to your obedience. Mm -hmm. And those of you who have been sitting on your hands and waiting for a lightning bolt experience, God is saying, why don't you hear the word Ah, oh, that I've already spoken to you. Why don't you just get up and step into that atmosphere that I've already prepared for you? Mm -hmm. My God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is, mm -hmm. this is your time. This is your day. This is a season for you to truly step into your destiny. Mm -hmm. My, my, my. You see, the power, as I said, is bound up and has been bound up in flesh. It's called latent power, a mm. latent force, or it's a hidden force. God did not remove, he did not erase 
Ah, the first Adam's anointing. When Jesus came on the earth, Jesus opened up an opportunity for us to see. Because when he spoke, he didn't speak with God's glory from heaven. He spoke with what was already imprinted in mankind. Mm -hmm. My God. He said he emptied himself of the glory of heaven. Mm -hmm. And he stepped in. And he was made flesh like us. Amen. And he began to utilize what was locked up in his flesh. It was latent. Woo! Latent ah, within him. He spoke to the wind and the wave. And that which was imprinted in his DNA came alive. And the wind and the wave had to be obedient. Mm -hmm. uh, the leprous disease or the disease of leprosy had to be obedient. Mm -hmm. Blindness had to be obedient. The mm -hmm. woman bent over had to be obedient. And, and, and guess what? He didn't even speak to the woman with the issue of blood. No, he did His not. His very presence caused a, an obedience. Um, uh, to the release of the virtue because he said you know he stops and he said who put a demand on my power Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> who put a demand on my power are you putting a demand on his power mm -hmm. today are you getting ready today to move <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, to be strengthened mm -hmm. to truly get to the place where God has, uh, uh, has, has determined that you ought to be uh, are you ready to move in the greatness of the message of Christ today? My God. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to get into the other topic. I don't think you are either. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, not I'm, but I'm going to leave you with that, uh, with what we just shared. You see, the power of God remains in us. Today, yes. in each and every person who lives here on the earth, lies the encoded Adamic DNA of what God said was yours. He said, I've created you in my image mm -hmm. after my likeness. Such power is in every man's capacity. It is confined in you. It is available to you. Yes, but today's is. soul is under siege by the flesh. But let's release it. Yes. Let's get to know this Christ. Let's begin to renew our minds with the word. Let's begin Amen. to fellowship Amen. and pray and really connect ourselves with the God that has brought us to this place. Amen. 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 And this time, uh, today is what? It is one thir here in Jamaica, it is 1.35, 1 1.36 p.m. on uh, December 31st, 2020. We have a few hours left in 2020. Mm -hmm. we, will be, we will be getting into chapter one, page one. Um, chapter one being, being January. Mm -hmm. We'll be on page one, January one in 2021. Are you ready to begin to rewrite? <laughs> or write your 2021 divine divinely empowered destiny amen my god open your eyes my friends amen god has not forsaken you he has, he has not you. left you he has not forgotten about you oh no it's time for you to truly move in that place Hallelujah. that he has called you step in mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. said it step in is prepared step in step why don't you pray all right for us all before right. we leave the air today amen <laughs> Father, we give you praise and we thank mm. you for the coming together of yes. the people in the various parts of the nations. Father, we thank yes. you for the call that was put in them, that there was a DNA intrinsically mm. bound into uh -huh. them yes. before the foundation of time. We loose that anointing in the name of Jesus in each one. May they respond to the spirit of the Lord. May they walk in their yes. divine destiny and calling, Father. We thank you for the fellowship of the brethren. We Jesus. thank you for the coming into those places and positions. Yes. Father, let them rise up and take their place, answer and respond to the call of God in the earth. In the mighty name of 
Jesus. Oh, amen. amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. Now, remember, this is the end of the year, and we're asking you if if the Lord leads you amen. to sow, sow into seed. this mis ministry. Yes. Sow a seed. Amen. Um, it is the end. If you're in the United States, you know your tax benefits are available to you. We are a 501c3 um, organization. In Jamaica, we are a 131q organization. All right. And uh, we, we have you're not doing it for that reason. You're doing it because God believed you. And you're doing it because you're sowing, right. you're sowing forward and you're allowing God to really move in your finances and in your destiny. So why don't you think about that today? You know, we have opportunities on Venmo, on Cash App, you know, on so many different platforms, uh, PayPal, that you're able to sow into the ministry. You can send a check to us in Kentucky. Um, and uh, you find out about all of that by going to our website, www.axchurch.org. Click on the donation tab and you will see all those options, all the addresses, all the links. And we love you. We appreciate Amen. you. And if you're still buying on Amazon, don't forget, use our Amazon Smile link because Amazon still donates to us. And if you're in a Kroger area, just remember to get our Kroger numbers or look us up. And Kroger also donates to all us. Right. Amen. Thank God you. bless you all. We'll Amen. see you Bye -bye. Uh, tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And happy New Year. Happy New Almost. Year. <laughs> all right. God happy bless. New Year.